Hey guys, how are you going and welcome to your 7th Zvelts tutorial. This one is going to be on reactivity when it comes to arrays and objects. Okay, so um, in particular, um, I'm referring to how to update and change your arrays and objects to ensure it happens uh, reactively. Okay, so uh, right up here as an example, we're going to declare a new variable called, uh, let's just do uh, web technologies, okay, equal to a new array of web technology. So we can say right here, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, um, for example. Okay, so right here, we now want to loop through each one of these elements right here, the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then just output um, that to the, um, to the HTML inside a list. So we can say right here, UL, then I can say, um, I can use braces here, or uh, curly braces here. I can just say each, Okay, each, uh, let's just do item as, so my mistake, this needs to be each web technology, uh, web technologies as, and then I can say item. Then I can go inside here and I can just say new uh, ally, and I can say inside here item. So we haven't covered looping just yet, but essentially this right here is going to loop through each one of our web technologies right here, and it's going to assign it to the variable called items, and we are simply creating a new list item uh, for each one of our web technologies. So now, uh, saving this and going inside the browser, we can see right here, of course, we get HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, okay? so. Um, to demonstrate our reactivity, we are going to make it so after three seconds, we want to add Zelt as a web technology. So let's just say right here, set timeout, and I'm going to say inside here, uh, we're just going to say uh, web technologies dot uh, append, sorry, push. So web technologies dot push, and we can just say Zelt inside there. Okay, so we can say after three seconds, we want to add Svelte to our list of web technologies. So we kind of expect Svelte to be right here. So now I'll just save this and go inside the browser. And we can see after three seconds, um, we don't actually get Svelte added right there. So the reason for that is because Svelte was not able to pick up on the change. So this change right here was not detected, therefore it was not reflected inside the list. So how do we make it so this change gets picked up on? Well, one easy way out would be to simply say web technologies is equal to web technology. So this right here is going to work because we are using an equal. So we're basically saying right here, we're reassigning the value of web technologies and using this equals it is going to be picked up. Okay, so uh, saving this right here. Okay, going back inside the browser, we can see after three seconds, Svelte gets added to the list. Okay, so obviously this right here uh, may look a bit funny to you, obviously just uh, doing the exact same thing, assigning uh, the variable to itself, but of course that is one way to make it work. Now, if you want to make it, um, you know, a bit more, uh, I guess, less, uh, sorry, uh, a bit more less wasteful, should I say, um, you can quite simply use the spread syntax. So for example, we can uh, change this dot push to be instead uh, web technologies, then I can say um, is equal to, then I can say right here, web technologies using the spread syntax right there, then I can just say Svelte like that. So that right there is going to be the equivalent of using push, but we also get the equals right there. So now saving this and going inside the browser, we can see we get the same result. Svelte gets added after three seconds. Okay, so um, if you're not too sure how to use the spread syntax right here, I've got a video dedicated to it if you want to check it out. So that is going to uh, wrap up uh, arrays when it comes to being reactive. Now, what about objects? Okay, so when it comes to objects, um, it's a very similar sort of thing, but they're going to be a, um, just a bit easier to work with. Okay, so um, let's change this let web technologies to be instead something like this, where we're going to be saying let person is equal to an object right here. And we can just say, uh, for example, uh, name equal to DOM. We can say age is going to be something like 45. And we can say uh, profession is a web developer. 
Okay, so now after after three seconds, I want to change my profession to be something like a dentist instead. So we can say right here, uh, person person dot profession is equal to dentist. So now I just want to output down here. I want to output uh, my name and my profession and my age. So we can say right here, um, we can just say person dot name is then person dot age. Uh, years old and they are a then of course just pass through here person dot profession Okay, so now saving this and going inside the browser we can see um, after three seconds the name does change to dentist or sorry should I say uh, the occupation does change to dentist and that of course is because we've used right here the equal sign which of course as we know is going to trigger that update so of course um, objects are going to be much easier to work with in comparison to arrays um, but of course that is how to do so alright thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one